saying stuff and doing something. I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first one, at official Sadie. Thoughts on Edward Scissorhands. Okay. I love, 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 love Edward Scissorhands. There was a time when I was younger Twenty 
Lady Darkest Lariat. I don't I don't know if I'm saying that right. Have you ever went to another world? If yes, can you share your experience? Um hold on. I'm looking I'm looking up. Okay. other world in Japanese. I don't know that I said that right, but um, if you ever went to another world, if yes, can you share your experience, especially how did you get isekai I think that's how you say it, but how did I get to this other world? Um, I can go two ways with this. I can be literal, which is not the fun way, because the only other world that I've ever been to is Disney World. Um, now, I got there, I've, 
gotten there by car. I've gotten there by plane. Also, oh, and I've also gotten there by train in, in Japan. Now, in the dream world, one, well, there, there was this time when I was playing Fortnite for like hours at a time, and I wasn't even playing like normal Fortnite. I was playing like the custom like escape, like people would make like escape rooms, and I would always do the scary ones with my sister. Um, and there was, we had been doing that all day, and one night I went to sleep, and I literally thought, like everything felt so real, that I was just in this Fortnite escape room, and it was like a giant carnival thing, and I was trying to get away from Pennywise the clown. How did I get there? Um, I just kind of like woke up there, I was, I woke up in a classroom, and then you leave the classroom, and then you end up outside, and there's like a bunch of woods, and, and, and a roller coaster, and a bunch of other carnival looking games, and then you have to go into like different buildings that had like different, like carnival rides, um, and you know, I don't know if you've ever played any sort of like Fortnite, Fortnite, like haunted, house type game, but if they're, they're, they're jump scares, they have to do them a certain way because they can't, like, actually scare you. You, it, you know, you have to, like, run to something to get something to trigger, and so that's what would happen. So that's, that's the closest. That's the closest. Okay. Nope. Hello, nope. Do you ever genuinely daydream about things, like laying down and thinking, you do what are the things you dream about okay yes um this is gonna sound this is gonna be real sad but a lot of the times when i'm sitting there daydreaming about stuff it's about food because i have so many food allergies now um that i just sit there and think about the time when i was younger when i could eat the things that i wanted to like i like just pasta and tomato sauce with a little bit of butter. I think I, I will literally just like sit there and think about that and I can like remember the taste of how it used to be and that sounds really sad, doesn't it? I got into the habit of that um, when I, cause I don't know, anxiety stresses out my body. I'm doing a lot better now, but there were a couple of times that I just kept getting really sick and I wasn't really able to eat much. And, um, I wanted to be able to eat, but I couldn't, and so I would just sit there and think about food, and think about, like, the best, the best food experiences that I had, like, uh, like, I remember going to Disney World this one time, leaving Disney World to go to Golden Corral, I was, like, 12, I think, and there's something about a buffet, I mean, I know most of them are very sanitary, but, but like, being able to get, to eat macaroni and cheese and a bowl of ice cream at the same time, it hits different, you know? Okay. Holly Young, where have you traveled? Okay. So, I have been to, I've been to California, I've been to Colorado, I've been to Arizona, I've been to Texas, I have been to Louisiana, does it, does it, does it count if I'm just like passing through, um, Tennessee, North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, um, North Carolina, South Carolina, Kentucky, Georgia, Florida, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and then last but definitely not least, I've been to Japan. I've been to Tokyo. I've been to, to Tokyo and Kyoto. I plan on going back. Um, I need, I, I want to travel more. I definitely want to travel more. I want to go to, um, I want to go to Romania. Honestly, 
I used to say, like, I want the power of telekinesis, like Psyche K, but I'm afraid that if I had that power, that I would just, like, be like him, like, personality-wise, and just not really care, and I don't know, I don't want to be that way. So... not what I'm trying to do. I just, Charmy, <laughs> Charmy, um, uses creation magic. Most of the time she's just making food and it like, like, um, it, like when people eat it, they, they get more magic or mana, mana, but, um, please, So yeah, back the, the, it all goes back to food, my dude. Or I think it would be fun to um, what is it? There's so many like anime things. I I I want like this is such an important an important 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 question. Celestial spirits, that's what it is. Yeah, no. I always thought that was cool. And she had all those like different keys. Yes, that was the other one. Sorry, it took a minute for me to figure that out, but I did it. Okay. If you. Oh, wait, no, I did that one. Okay. Also, also. How did you learn about mindfulness? Do you know Dick Not Han and Plum Village? Um, I learned about mindfulness through therapy, 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 um, and also through, well, we'll just leave it at therapy, um, it was, 
something that I started learning about two years ago, almost two years ago, yeah. Um, what is, let's look up what this is. I don't even know that I'm saying it right, but we're gonna, we're gonna get a little bit. The Plum Village Tradition of Sin Master. Buddhist practice is not just devotional religion in the temple. It is a way to live everyday life harmoniously with awareness and peace. The foundation... Sorry, I sneezed. The foundation of what Plum Village teaches is directly connected with the present moment through our bodies and our breath. I don't know... I I've never heard of this, but I'm going to keep this down open because I want to be able to read about it. So, no, I didn't know anything about that. Um, but no, I learned about mindfulness from... My butt's asleep. I learned about mindfulness from therapy, and I am... I'm a bit of... I don't know what the, the proper term is now, but they used to be hypochondriac physically and mentally, and so I... I was just like, I need to do everything I can to take care of myself. Um, and at first I was just trying to do everything physically, but then I was like, if my mental is also not good, then it's going to, it's going to make my physical also not good. So yeah, that's what, that's why I started practicing. Well, that's why I went to therapy and I started practicing mindfulness and that and Prozac have changed my life. What are your thoughts on Pluto? Is it a planet or no? Um, so here's the thing. When I was in first grade, that was when they decided Pluto wasn't a planet anymore. Uh, because it's smaller than our moon, apparently. But I say, once a planet, always a planet. You teeny tiny... You revolve around the sun. You you are part of the solar system. So yeah, does Pluto have moons? That, that would also... Does Pluto have moons? Well, um... Yeah, it has... Pluto has five natural satellites in order of distance from Pluto. They are... Charon, Styx, Nix, Yeah, I don't know that the moons provide. I guess these are moons. I don't know. The pictures of these honestly look like Nyx looks like a rock. Styx looks like a like a white smudge. Kerberos, Kerberos, whatever, looks like you tried to take a picture of a Hershey kiss and it got really blurry. And then Hydra looks like. an ultrasound of a tooth. <laughs> so. <laughs> but apparently those are the moons. Oh wait, Charon actually looks like a moon. I was, sorry, I ignored Charon because I thought Charon was Pluto because it legit looks like a moon, but okay. Yeah. So yeah. I, I, I like to think it's a plan. Apparently, scientifically, it's not, but in my heart, in my mind, in my soul, Pluto, you will always be a planet. You are a planet in my heart, if you're not a planet in our solar system. And even if you are a planet in our solar system, you will, you will always be a planet in my heart as well. So, yeah, that's where I stand on that. Elliot, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Um, so 
so that is how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood so here's a question is chuck like eating is chuck like throwing is chuck like you know like what is because i think that that kind of that depends um it the, the answer depends on what chuck 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 means in in this scenario now if a wood was just throwing wood i would imagine th- it would be like at one time like maybe it, it would be able to chuck like an eighth of its body weight of wood does that sound reasonable i feel like that sounds reasonable now if you are like eating wood i would say depending on the size of the wood chuck i would say probably like At least, like, I would say 16 ounces of wood. And that goes for if they're, well, the wood do, because if they're eating, if they're eating it, if they can eat up to 16 ounces, then they can expel up to 16 ounces. So that's where I'm going with that. Am I am I basing this off of anything other than nothing? You, you got that right. I'm just taking a wild guess. I don't know anything about woodchucks. Or if they even do chuck wood. And in this case, what does chuck mean? But I gave you every scenario that I could think of. Hopefully that answers your question. Okay. Bread team. When the sun isn't shining, how tall is the gingerbread man? I will say this, when the sun isn't shining, the gingerbread is taller than his shadow. Because when the sun is shining, you know, the, 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 then you see your shadow, and usually the shadow is like pretty long and tall. Pretty clever, right? I know. But if you're looking for... If you're looking for a better... Let's see. gonna look up okay how big is chinchy from shrek okay so the gingerbread man also known as chinchy so ginger i'm looking up how big gin- the gingerbread man from shrek is he was created by the muffin man he's one of shrek's good friends chinchy is made of gingerbread and is about the size of a human hand so we'll just say probably a, t- a tad bit bigger than mine because I don't have like small hands, but I don't have, I feel like they're, they're a tad bit tinier than a normal hand. Um, so, I'll say, that's like, mm, so we'll say like six inches, so like half a foot. Gingerbread man is... Okay, we'll go with five inches. Okay, yeah, we'll do five inches. So if the gingerbread man is five inches, when the sun isn't shining, he's five inches. When the sun is shining, he's taller because of his shadow. I don't know. We're gonna go with that because at first it sounded really clever and I really think I should have just let it be after I said that initial thing, but then it's like, you know, when you, when you explain a joke, it's not funny anymore. So, and I think we just spent too much time on it and really thought about it. And now you're, there's like a bunch of holes in the thought process of it, but whatever. <laughs> John, are you this high energy in day-to-day life? Yes and no. I am a very sleepy, 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 sleepy girl. Very sleepy girl. But... Um, I like, I don't know, I like being excited, being upbeat about doing things. My mom 
says that I'm not the most mature person. Like, I know how to be mature, obviously. But in non-serious situations, I choose to have more fun because why not? Like, and I guess, does that mean more energy? Yes, because I feel like I put more of an effort into things, therefore I'm putting in more energy into things. So yeah, um, I would say like 65% of the time I am this high energy in day-to-day life. Now, going back to the sleepy sleepy girl part, um, I'm kind of a homebody. I don't like being out late. If I had the chance to go to dinner early and then go to an early movie, I would do that. When people want to go to a movie that's like after 8 o'clock, I'm like, I might fall. Last time I went to a movie after 8 o'clock, I'm pretty sure it was the Ant-Man. It was the new Ant-Man movie that came out last year. And um, I fell asleep like 15 minutes into that. I went with a big group of people and I don't, I even, I fell asleep during that movie. Because it was after 8 o'clock and when you put me in a dark room and I'm all cozy because they're the recliner chairs. Yeah, so I don't know. Depends on the time, depends on the day, depends on the situation. But most of the time I do try to be a little more high energy. Just trying to get the best, find the best, have the best time. Um, without being obnoxious. There you go. What is your favorite and least favorite ASMR trigger? My favorite ASMR trigger. I, okay, honestly, I like tapping, but I like, I like, um, tapping with fingernails, but not like the super long fingernails. I usually like, like my nails are very short right now and they're blue because I put a, I had to condition my hair with a blue hair mask and so now my nails are blue but um, typically I like a little bit of a longer nail um, and tapping on things like, like this I love sounds like this, like I love tapping I love whispers but I love um, like one of my favorite ASMR is Karuna Satori and I love the way her voice sounds like she makes the best mouth sounds when like like oh it's just just listening to her I put anytime I want like anytime I'm just like I need to go to sleep or I like I had a really bad headache this morning she has this um she has this hypnosis video from like four years ago that I put on every time and it just it cures me it's so good um so typically tapping and whispering in mouth sounds really like I also have gotten really into like the wood soup ASMR I love the way that sounds wood and water is tinkly um my least favorite ASMR triggers usually I'm not really I'm not really a fan of like, like, scratching on fabrics. There's a lot, like, like texture-wise, there's a lot that like, <laughs> like gives me the heebie-jeebies. Like it's like nails on a chalkboard for me. Um, I can like, this isn't my favorite noise. I definitely don't find this tingly at all. I don't find it like disgusting. But there are some. I can't think of like. Ugh. Yeah, did you hear that? That was that was like my 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 desk mat. I don't like the way some texture sounds when you scratch it. So it'd probably be that. What got you interested in ASMR? So the very first uh ASMR video I ever watched. Thank you, Cardi B. I was watching I wanna say it's been so long. So Cardi B, ASMR Darling, and Karuna Satori were how I got into ASMR. Um I used to really like mic brushing. ASMR Darling used to do a lot of mic brushing and or well, or older videos had a lot of mic brushing and would be like top ten triggers or whatever. And I would I really liked it. But I guess I kind of got like tingling 
immunity to it and then I realized that I just like like whispers are always a go for me tapping is always a go for me um but Cardi B I think was was, was it with Vanity or Variety or something she, it was like I don't know there's some there's some like publication company or whatever that always is like let's do ASMR with a celebrity and Cardi B was so sounds and and she watches and listens to ASMR so so she knew what to do um okay do you tingle your own ASMR while editing no i When I first started ASMR, I was just like, I was like, I know, like, I like, I'm doing, I'm, I'm like, right now, I am whispering the way I like to hear whispering. I'm, like, I'm tapping the way I like to hear tapping, but it's because that I'm doing it myself, it's just like, it doesn't work. I've never, never been able to tingle for my own ASMR. And I just don't think that's ever going to be something that I can't do. Okay. Casey the Cake. What do you think of Dazai Osamu from the hit anime Bungo Stray Dogs? You have to see a picture of him. Let's see. never heard of this in my life. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Okay. A young man with mildly wavy short dark brown hair and narrow dark brown eyes as bangs frame his face while some are gathered at the center of his forehead. He is quite tall and slim in terms of physique for his attire. Does I? Am I saying that right? Does I? Does I? Does I? Or is a long sand color? striped dress shirt that is light blue in hue. He wears a bolo tie, which is held by a brown ribbon and a turquoise pendant. He also dons beige pants, dark brown shoes, and has the bandages wrapped around his entire body. Only his face, hands, and feet are left uncovered. Hmm. Anyway. 
Morris, yes. What do I think of him? I think he looks very smart. I like his outfit. I'd wear the outfit. The polo tie is really, is really the nice touch. Also, I love, I think it's so interesting when anime characters wear like, have like bandages all over their body. Um, or like Juzo and Tokyo Ghoul. It's not bandages, but they have the little like, st uh, like stitches all over their body. I just, I love stuff. Lunar excuse. Is your YouTube your full-time job or do you have a day job? And if you do, what is it? Uh, YouTube is just a thing that I do on the side. It's just a thing that I do for fun. I mean, it started off as being for fun. I, I do, like, I do make money off of it now, which is nice. But it's not my day job. My day job, um, I am, what, uh, I forget what. I'm basically like a like a web editor type of person. I um, make web pages um, and graphics for the web pages for different sites that I will not name because <laughs> it'll it'll give away. Uh, this, I really wish this would stop falling. Um, I just don't want to. But yeah, that's what I do. I I make fun graphics and edit web pages and upload web pages and build out web pages, that type of thing. Um What is the best ASMR trigger no one makes? So I don't know if this is something that people actually make or not, but I really want... I've never looked it up, but I, every time I play like Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, I always hear like, you know, the sounds of them running, the sounds of them like, of, of, of like, like cooking, and I love the sounds, and I'm just like, I wish there was a full compilation of just these sounds, of just all of the sounds without the music and without the voices because I love hearing him run I love hearing him paraglide I love hearing him cook so and I would sleep so good do a video like that so does that count? I think I feel like I, I need to I've never looked up something I don't know if that, the, 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 the wonderful thing about the internet is a lot of the times when you think of something, somebody's already done something for it, so I'm sure, like, oh, now that I'm, like, talking about this, I'll probably end up looking it up and find something that, that I, that I like, that is, that is what I wanted to do. <laughs> okay. What is one thing you plan to accomplish in 2024? One thing I plan Hmm. I I plan to be able I want to be okay yoga's always been like a thing that I've really been into um, and I really want to push myself a little bit more and start doing a little more advanced yoga but so, I just want to be able to do a, like a, a right split, a left split, and a middle split. And I want to be able to like have a good technique, and and to like like actually like actually be like a split, you know. So yeah, that's what I plan. That's what I want to accomplish in 2024. Also, I want to um. Perfect croissant baking. That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to do. What are your thoughts on the belief that one 
partner should provide absolutely everything in a relationship. Um, here's the thing. I think, like, I... Me personally, I don't think I would... I could be in a relationship where one person provides absolutely everything in the relationship. Um, because that's just not how I am. I'm, I'm assuming by providing you mean, like... There's a person who makes the money, and there's a person who takes care of the household. Or, like, that, like, the, the groceries and all of that. I think when you find your person, like, you work on your dynamic. You will find a dynamic that works for both of you. And if that means that one person is working and the other person is staying home and doing the other stuff, if that's what works for you, great. Like get rid of the gender roles if the man wants to stay home that's fine and the woman wants to work that's fine like I, it needs to be it needs to be something that you talk about with your partner and something that you both agree on and it needs to be something that like you are comfortable going back to and talking about if you want something to change like communication is key um so uh, me personally I don't I just wouldn't, I feel like I personally would not be fulfilled. But to each their own. Do you think a polyamorous relationship, a relationship with multiple partners, would be better for humans? Once again, I think to each their own. Um, I, I don't want to be like, personally, I don't see myself ever being in a polyamorous relationship because I've never, like, I feel like when you, I feel like if you meet the right person, you meet the right people, then it, then it could, anything, like, anything could work. Um, where I am right now in my life with my partner, I, like, I'm happy with them and they're happy with me and we're in a good place and, like, I just want to, to share this relationship and, and this love with that one person and I'm complete, like, I'm so happy, I'm completely happy and, like, they feel the same now, down the line, if we meet somebody it's just like, wow, this person just, like, gets along with us so well if I were to be able to feel like that about another person along with my partner then I would definitely, I would definitely be open to that I think it really just depends on it depends on the person, it depends on the situation. Um, I don't think that er every every human is, is different. Every human is not the same. We all have different things that we go through. Therefore, ooh, with our experiences, it's just like, what's good for one person isn't good for another person, you know? And it's not my place to say whether or not this is good for everybody. But... I don't see it as a bad thing. I think, I think, it, I think it does work for some people. Okay. Do you know what happens to all the ancient monies? Mummies, not monies. Sorry. If you Google that, you will be disturbed. Okay, I'm going to guess, but don't they like? they do to ancient mummies. I'm just going to... Okay, yeah, they preserve the body after death by deliberately drying or embalming flesh. Yeah, so I'm not gonna go into it, but it's, it's basically like you have to remove moisture step-by-step -step mummification process and you were right that is disturbing I'm not gonna talk about it because I feel like I just feel like I shouldn't sorry this is bothering me because it's not the middle um okay what are your favorite ASM artists okay 
Um, sorry, I was reading the rest of the, <laughs> the rest of the questions that this person asked. Jake, by the way, thank you, Jake, for all of these questions. Um, my favorite ASMR is Karuna Satori, uh, GB ASMR, ASMR Darling, Batala ASMR. She has amazing mouth sounds. Um, ASMR Bakery, when I want to hear tapping and no talking, and she does it for hours. But yeah, those are some of my favorites. What can you say about furries? Um, I know nothing about, I know nothing about this. I, like, I know the gist of what furries are, but people like what people like, and if it's not hurting me, if it's not hurting you, if it's not hurting the people around us, you do you. Then that's what I have to say about that. Can you please say ooh ooh? Ooh ooh. I'm so sorry, guys. Ooh ooh. Ooh ooh. Ooh ooh. Okay. Do you enjoy reality TV? Shows like The Kardashians, Jersey Shore, Baddies, etc. If so, do you have a fave? reality TV, um, I've always been a fan of those, like, celebrity dating shows, like, uh, Flavor of Love, Rock of Love, I Love New York, uh, Shot of Love with Tila Tequila, um, I'm missing one, uh, um, there was, like, there, there are a few others that I always really liked. Um, there were like spinoffs with people that were contestants on, like New York was a contestant on uh, Flavor of Love and then she got her own show and there was this girl Daisy who was on Rock Love that got her own show and then there was this girl Megan who was on Rock Love that got her own show. Or it was called Megan Wants a Millionaire. Um, so I used to watch those when I was a kid. <laughs> um, also, used to Like, they would have, they would have, like, k -k 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 marathons of, like, one season throughout the day, and I would just watch, 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 and I just loved it so much. Project Runway was also something I was really into. I never was into the Kardashians. I tried being into Jersey Shore because, um, I was in, I was in my sophomore year of high school when Jersey Shore was a big thing, and I tried to get into it because friends were into it, and the guy I liked was into it, but no. It just wasn't my thing. Um, the last reality show that I watched, I mean, I watched, I used to, I, I, there was like a, a brief stint where I was watching Survivor. I watched a couple seasons of that. That was in like 2020. Yeah. Um, or maybe it was 2021. I don't know. Um, and then the one that I watched, there was like True Match or like Perfect Perfect Match. I watched that. That's on Netflix. Um, there was a there. There's a couple of those on Netflix that I've watched recently. That they all just kind of do the same thing, and I can't remember what they're called. But if I'm gonna watch reality TV. first move to spend it. To be honest, I'd pay off my medical bills and my student loans. Um, I think I, my, my first, my first thing would be to pay off my debt, my family's debt. I don't know anything about my family's debt. My family might not even have debt. I don't know. I just, I know I have debt <laughs> from student loans and medical bills. <laughs> Would I keep $50 million? Heck no. That's too much. Um, I truly do not want to 
want to be one of those people that has so much money that I don't know what to do with. Uh, I would honestly, like, donate so much of it to my community, specifically, like, the, the animal shelters around here, um, the homeless shelters, the women and children shelters, um, I would also probably, I think it would be a really good idea to, um, work on, I don't know, I have this thing where it, it really bothers me that a lot of kids go to school and, like, the only meal that they get is the meal at school, and like, free lunch should be something that everybody gets, um, so I would try, I don't, I don't have the knowledge, I just know what I'd want to do, I don't have the resources for it, so I haven't done any of the research, but I would want to do something along those lines, just with our education system, to make sure that these kids are, like, these kids are getting what they need to, because when your, when your child is going to school, like, it is, it is the school's job to take care of that kid while they are there, regardless of what's going on at home, and I just feel like, um, uh, nowadays, a lot of schools are lacking. First move, removing debt. Um, second move, deciding how much I'm actually going to keep. I would want to keep my job because I don't want to have the, I don't know, it's just like, if you're not working towards something, then what's the point? I never, I never want to be that person that's just like, okay, well, I, I have all this, and I did this, and I did this, and I did this. Also, I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, well, I'll just invest here and invest here and I'll just keep growing and growing and growing the money and I'll just, I'll just get all this money and become the next, like, Jeff Bezos. Mm -mm. Like, that doesn't, mm -mm. I don't want that. So yeah, I think I answered your question. Okay. DIY Amory. Fave type of music. Fave type of music anything but country, to be honest. Um, my Spotify rap, my number one was Taylor Swift, my number two was Corpse, my number three was Halsey, my number four was Florence and the Machine, and my number five was Muna, which I'm really surprised that f I really thought it was going to be Taylor Swift, Halsey, Corpse, Olivia Rodrigo, and Muna, but I'm not upset with, with that at all, and I know a lot of those sound very similar. It's just like, what the heck, um, is corpse, um, in the past, my top, I'm, I'm just giving you an idea of, like, what I listen to, like, I listen to a lot of Rob Zombie, uh, Limp Bizkit, Pretty Reckless, so beautifully written, um, 
and I think Midnight did a really good job of kind of getting that trendy pop sound mixed with the ooh, really, really like deep lyrics of like folklore and evermore. Obviously not in every song, but like Karma has a cat bring my love because it loves me. Like that's just clever. <laughs> There's nothing deep about that, but uh. okay. Anyways, that turned into me just fanning over Taylor Swift. Anyways, would you rather live in a place with no sunlight but really hot, or a bright sun but always cold? Oh, this is difficult. Okay, I have a vitamin D deficiency, and I do not like being hot. So I guess I would rather bright sun but always cold because I can always like I can always put some. I can always wear cool sunglasses if I'm trying to sleep, like, I can make the room dark, I can put something over my eyes to make it dark, and I can always add more layers. I'd rather be- I- I love keeping my apartment dark and cold, because that's just how I like it. Um, but I do need sun because I am vitamin D deficient, and I need that- I need the sunlight. And there's something so suffocating about the sound of, like, a really hot place that's also dark. That sounds terrible to me. Okay. Why do spiders like to bite me during the night? It's because you're so sweet. No, I'm just, I mean, I was about to be like, I'm just kidding, but I'm not. You th th very well could be that, but I'm gonna give. Why? Let's look this up. Why do spiders bite me at night? Getting bitten by a spider in your sleep is fairly uncommon. Spiders generally only bite when they feel threatened. You must be trying to throw hands in your sleep and, and these spiders are like, We gotta take this. We gotta take this person. We gotta take them. So, whatever you're doing, you're making them feel threatened. If it's an, 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 an intentional or unintentional. Or maybe, what was that? That's like, hold on. Spider pheromone lotion. That's like, um, the body butter at Sephora really attracts spiders. It's like, a sole de Janeiro moisturizer has garnered attention after reviews claimed it attracted wolf spiders. Um, I've been seeing a bunch of videos about people wearing that moisturizer and like waking up and having spider bites. So, so are you using that lotion? Or is you, does, does some sort of product that you're wearing have a, have a, um, have something in it to attract spiders? That could be a thing. Isn't that scary? I do hope the spiders stop biting you. Okay, what is your worst date experience? Worst date experience. Hmm. Um, that's a good question. Hmm. you should not do in public. And I was like, oh no. This isn't this is a no. This is this is a that's a no. Um there 
were very respect respect respectful about it. Um, after that, we just kind of were like we stopped talking, <laughs> but probably that. sandwich you eat it with your hands there's literally there's literally the the, the, the bread and the, and the and then the meat and you, i mean you don't need meat to have a sandwich but usually there's something in between bread and that that's to me what classifies as a sandwich and you can put condiments on it you can put cheese on it so yeah hot dogs is a sandwich pop tart a ravioli uh, i want to say yes but i also want to say no because I feel like a ravioli is a soft, a soft noodle pocket filled with like either cheese or meat or meat and cheese or veggies or whatever. And a pop tart is a pastry filled with like a jam or like a cream. So. Um, here's what we'll do. Hot dog is a sandwich. Pop-Tart could be a ravioli. Ketchup is not a jam. So it's like, yes, maybe, no. That's how I'm gonna put it. And if I'm not allowed to have maybe for ravioli, then I'm just gonna say no. Uh, but I would like to say maybe. Just because I- they're like cousins. Does that make sense? They're like cousins. Do you think Leon Edwards had the best physique in the UFC? I have not. Watched UFC since that one guy kicked that other guy and broke his leg in like 2013. And I did not watch that because I wanted to. Who is Leon Edwards? Okay, Leon Edwards, born 25th of August 1991, an English professional mixed martial artist. He's under 70 pounds and he's six feet. He is in the middleweight division and welterweight division. Well, he's got good physique and he's got a really big UFC belt, which I'm assuming means he won something. Or like he won something big because it's a big UFC belt. I don't know anything about UFC. Um, so, well, I say, um, from what I've seen, Honestly, yeah, he looks like he has the best physique. And do I mean like for UFC? I have no idea. I just know, like, I'm looking at him, and he looks like he has the right amount of amount of muscle. Like, obviously, he's very muscular. He's very defined, but he's not like overly muscular. If that makes sense, he's not like the Rock. I don't know. He's well proportioned, in my opinion. So yes, we'll say yes. Why not? 
from what I know, yes. Favorite movie. Oh, favorite movie. Oh, favorite movie, favorite movie, favorite movie. This is difficult. Okay. <laughs> What's a movie? Uh, I... Uh, I don't know that I can pick a favorite movie. I can... Horror movies are my favorite. because Shrek is like a movie I will never not like. If Shrek is on, I'm not doing what I'm doing and I'm watching. I know every single word to that movie. Shrek, 100%. That was... Whee, got it. Okay. What's the weirdest or scariest dream you've ever had? I know exactly what it is. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, this was years ago, but I had a dream that I woke up in this like uh, house that had like four rooms in it. It was completely empty and abandoned and old and musty and gross. Um, and I was in one of the rooms and none of the rooms had doors. They were all just kind of like open. Um, and they were all like adjoining rooms type, type, of, type of thing. But there were these like two really tall, long like bodies like um, that had TVs on their head and they would just like lay there and then anytime I tried to like leave the room they would follow me into the next room and it would get like really really dark and then they'd get in my face and then the TV, the, their TV face would turn on and it'd be all staticky. That was the most unsettling thing I've ever... Um, there was another... Uh, I think the... This was a weird dream. It was, I have these dreams sometimes where I wake up crying because I'm like so distressed. I had a dream that I was at the lake with my sister. This was like, I, I think I was in like college, but I was at the lake with my sister and some other people. Um, and my sister fell off the boat and the person driving the boat ran over her with the boat and like completely like, yeah. And I, the feeling that I had was like, I was, I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever felt like that in my life. I was so upset. I'm like, my eyes are literally watering thinking, thinking about it because I was just like, it felt so real. That was, that was terrible. Very strange. I don't understand why. North or south? I'm gonna go with north because the north remembers, um, you know, like, Game of Thrones, but also the north is colder, and I'm gonna go where it's colder. Do you prefer the color black or white? Black. Red or yellow? Red. Blue or purple? Purple. That was very easy, very straight to the point. What do your friends or family say about your some ASMR side job hobby. Has any of them taken a listen? Um, my mom will message me occasionally. Uh, I never think that my friends and family keep up with what I do. They know that I do it. Um, but my mom will message me occasionally and, um, she'll, especially if I'm using, like, the mannequin app that's, like, over, it's, it's, it's over there somewhere, but she'll be like, Whenever I use that, she'll message me and she'll be like, that mannequin head is so creepy. I don't know how you expect people to, like, go to sleep when they're staring at that. <laughs> um, but, no, they're very supportive. And I get a lot of, like, a 
ASMR memes and I get like it's like made fun of but like an all in all in good fun like my brother-in-law will um jokingly put on ASMR and you'd be like and it's like the weird type of ASMR that just sounds like I don't know it just sounds weird and he's like this you <laughs> so stuff like that but um yeah they they've I'm gonna say an animal, a family, the fox is from the dog family. Um, oh, I was right. Um, foxes belong to the dog family, and their appearance is similar to that of domestic dogs and coyotes. They look like dogs. They kind of, well, they look like a mix of a dog and a cat, but like, like 80% Um, do you have any ghost stories or paranormal experiences? Okay. Yes. This video is so freaking long already. I don't want to- I have- I have quite a few. I have quite a few. Um, ghost stories, paranormal experiences. Um, especially growing up. One thing I will say is I used to- my, um, my house is built on a burial ground. or you grow out of relationships and she grew out of that one I think her, her and Travis are like 
so much alike, like, personality-wise, I could see them being in game. I hope, I, I hope that, I hope that it, that it is in game. It is in, in game because she seems so happy and I just want her to be, I just want her to be happy. So that's kind of how I feel about that. The fact that she is literally doing a concert in Tokyo, leaving right after the concert to fly back for the Super Bowl, watching the Super Bowl, and then I think going back to Tokyo. I think, maybe not, I don't know. She crazy. Okay, I want to know if you watch anime. Yes, I do. I want to know your favorite picks. Okay. Let's see. I'm just going to start naming a bunch that I love. Fruits Basket, Tokyo Ghoul, Hunter Hunter, I'm watching Dragon Ball right now and I really like it, which I'm very surprised about because that was never something that I wanted to get to. I'm getting into po like Pokemon Indigo League. specifically like the first like I don't know when I was watching it in like 2021 or whatever was out then that's what I had seen and it's just like if that and or an high school host club were like comfort shows for me I just put on just to have on and it would just be lovely um but Hunter Hunter Day is a more trigger. Fabric scratching. <laughs> fabric scratching. I just don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Some fabrics are fine. Like, uh, even that is like, this is fine. This is fine. But there's just like some fabrics that just blah, 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 blah. not a fan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, I'm going to add different layers over this and well, different sounds, like, I'm going to add different sounds, just so there are sounds. questions and I didn't look at the questions until like I started like this um and because I just wanted my answers to be like genuine and like
can do stuff. That's not tapping, I know, but I just like the way that sounds. Um, if you have any suggestions or any triggers you'd like for me to try, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. I do go through your comments and I do try to make a video for every request you give me. Normally I come out with new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, but as of right now, we're, we're in the middle of our ASMR streak week. So we had Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, today's Thursday. We still have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and if that's not enough for you, I have a Patreon. Where I come out with a new video every Monday, Wednesday, and one Friday out of the month. And that just happens to be this this Friday. So if you want that, you can check that out. Also, these YouTube videos are also on my Patreon shop. There's no intro music, there's no outro music, and there's no ads there. So if you're wanting these without all that, check that out. I also have videos that are that don't go with the Patreon membership and also aren't on here that you can look at on the shop and I'm doing custom videos so if you're part of Patreon you can message me on Patreon um, if not my email is down in the description shoot me an email and let's talk about what kind of custom video you're wanting chit chatting okay please take care of yourself show yourself the love and affection you deserve you beautiful beautiful and I'll see you tomorrow.